Okay. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? I am doing much better. I have no aches in my stomach at all. <laughs> I'm not running a fever anymore. Uh, yeah, I ate some Taco Bell, a burrito supreme. So I ain't going back there again ever as long as I live. I swear I was like seriously close. 12 hours of labor. <laughs> it was no fun. And then I carried a fever and just kind of like gas bubble feeling in my stomach all the time. Well, those have come out real nice lately. <laughs> so I'm doing much better. And uh, I praise God for that. And I thank every single one of you for all of your uh, comments, get well wishes, and your prayers. I appreciate that so very much. And uh, anyway, everybody's doing fine in my home. Um, yeah, I've been good for pretty much two days straight now. And the pain just kind of like, bloop, just disappeared. So it was good, but it sure lingered around. <laughs> so be careful what you eat and where you're eating. Yeah, you know, we want to treat ourselves because we're cooking at home so much, but... <laughs> I rather cook now. <laughs> anyway, I thought maybe I would go ahead and just pour on a, a vase I've had for a very long time, probably about a year. But anyway, if you can recall that this vase I did um, on one of my later videos, are we? Yeah. And it turned out beautiful. It's gorgeous. The rim turned out real nice. As long as you scrape them, you don't have to sand them down or anything. So it's just beautiful. And this was with that, um, the deco art pouring medium. So it does get off a nice little gloss. Uh, I think the Artist Loft has a little bit higher gloss though, but it seems very protective and everything. So I'm gonna cover this with resin. But my initial plans were to put this these on there because they're actually meant for, you know, like a jar or something. Uh, show you the package. So it showed this on a little jar thing. So that's what I wanted to do, but that's too wild looking, that vase is. I need something like solid color or maybe with just a little hint of something else in it. So what I've chosen today is this vase I've had for a long time. It's a nice one. You know, it's nice, like you could put a candle in here or something. I have so many, it's unreal. So I've been wanting to pour over this for a long time. Real nice one. Oh, it's about, geez, probably eight tall and about four wide, you know? Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. But it's always difficult to pour on these because of the way they are. And then they drip funny on here. But if I'm not really swirling or doing ring on it, it should be pretty. I think this will work. So I'm putting one of these cups I got for my resin on there. And that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so anyway. and. I using the Deco Art Cobalt Turquoise Hue, the Quinacridone Violet, and some gold. Okay, and that's it. I'm not putting no highlight white or black in it or anything like that. So here we go. I'm gonna position my camera. Okay, so hopefully you were in Good view here. Uh, it's kind of tall and big there. So I hope everybody is doing awesome. Everybody's taking care. Boy, I'm going to. I had a scare. There's no doubt about that. You know, they say everybody that gets sick, it's like right away. They're like, oh my gosh, do I have the coronavirus or what? And 
And it's no fun to be scared like that. It is so scary. But uh, there's one way to really kind of just make sure and that's to really play it safe. And that's what I'm gonna do. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pour a lot more of this. I want it to be more on the turquoise side probably looks blue in the camera but it's turquoise looking pretty and then just little hints I want it more solid color because that base with that on um, there just look too wild clash big time and all right well here goes so I'm gonna pour quite a bit of this I do want this color more than the gold. Hopefully this will work already. And I don't overdo it because I always do some. Okay. Thinking that's enough. Feeling it wise, yeah. I think it's good. Um, so I'm going to take my stick and just kind of do an S and then cross through it a little bit there. That's it. Sort of like that. Yeah. Don't want too much going on. Hopefully, I didn't overdo it. It looks pretty. Alright. So, the first thing I want to do is this. Problem is, I can't see if I'm in the camera because it's on the side of me. Uh, maybe my hand's in the way. I can't pour with my left hand, though. Well, Go do the best I can, guys, here. You can also use like a pipette sometimes on these when they're funny shaped. just a little bit, a little higher here. Oh, I forgot to put my glasses on. Don't worry about the bottom.
Well, I should have used a small cup now that I think about it. I wonder if I'll be able to turn this. I won't. Getting where there's no paint. Yeah, this is pretty solid color, but it has some marbling in there, and that's what I wanted. That's good. Let me get my glasses. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can see the violet in it. And it might dry a little different. Who knows? But it's all right. I'm liking it. So I'm just going to let that sit and drip down, and we'll take a look at it. I'm going to keep doing this for a long time. A good hour, probably, just so it's completely not dripping anymore, where I'm not picking up any paint. I'm just going to dab my finger around the bottom. Okay, so it's pretty. It's just what I wanted. <laughs> I know it seems kind of boring, but you just can't have a lot going on with something on there. But isn't that pretty? But you can see the little bit of streaks of gold in there. Here and there. a few and that's all I wanted too and it does have that shimmer see like right there so you can't really see underneath too well I'm sure it's pretty uh, yeah that's all I wanted <laughs> it's just kind of hard to see because it's plain anyway let's there's this one kind of Spot right here. Well, let's look at the whole thing. So all of it is good. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So all of it's good. This spot right here would be a great spot for that sticker. And I'm gonna choose. Let's see. We have. There's a, the big one on the bottom. Or then there's a smaller one. I'm going to put the smaller one. But I think that'll look really pretty, don't you? The smaller butterfly. Right there. Oh, I forgot to show you the top. So that's just like that. Just dotted it with my finger. And covered it up so it's not thick at all. Well, that's it. So I think I'm going to just wait for it to dry. Then put, apply the butterfly. And I think I'm going to do a coat of resin on it. So I'll be showing this to you guys, oh, probably in about four days from now. Okay? Because got to give it time to cure, you know, a little before you handle it and all. So thank you for watching, everybody. I know this is kind of boring one, but I wanted to say hi so bad, too. Everybody take care. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.